All right, so with this one, I'm going to teach you some of the more commonly used tools um, within 3D Studio Max. Um, I'm going to convert this to an editable poly, and if you um, take a look here, let's see here. Um, you know, for the most part, I don't use, let's go into the vertex selection. Um, I generally don't chain for vertexes. Um, I don't uh, extrude vertexes. And um, the big thing that I do is I collapse. And I'm going to show you this in a second. So what collapse does, now you can collapse or you can weld. Um, collapsing, what collapsing does is it turns it into one vertex. So you can actually hit the collapse button and it, as you can see, it turns it into one vertex. This is really nice when you are cutting stuff or and you want, you make a little mistake and, and so you want to collapse stuff together. Another thing you can do is you can target weld. Um, target weld let's uh, find my target weld here target weld. What target weld does is you click and you drag it to another location and it, what it does is it snaps that one to the target weld. So if you have um, a place that you're moving that target weld does the same thing. Now you can right click to get off there. Um, the reason I don't like chamfer is because what chamfer does is it basically creates a whole lot of end guns and I, I just don't like doing that. Right. Another thing is cutting. Um, cutting is pretty much in every uh, let's see here, in every sub object level. Um, so you can cut pretty much anything that you want. Um, quick slice. I'm going to show you quick slice real quick here before I show you cut. So quick slice. What quick slice does is cuts all the way through. So think of taking a stick of butter and cutting it in half. And it cuts according to that plane. So you can see that's really, you know, something uh, interesting. Now, the other thing is quick slice, what it does is it quick slices according to where you're angling it. So you can actually screw up your mesh quite a bit. Think of a, a character and you're quick slicing something in the leg and it pretty much kills your arm too. So be very wary with quick slice. Another thing is cut. You can cut with um, the cut tool and it'll add in more geometry to basically create what you want. Now, I'm going to show you something. These quick slices, these cuts, and and even like this, I'll chamfer uh, right here. So I'll chamfer this right here. So if you notice, what happens is I've got a lot of triangles in here now, and I've got a lot of what they call n-gons. N-gons are multiple-sided polygons that have greater than four. So I'm going to go into polygon mode, and I'm going to go into numeric, and click the greater than, and you see all these are n-gons. And n-gons in the end are really bad. Okay, they don't uh, have any place in a model, so you always need to fix your end guns. I'm going to put that subject on pause for a second, and I'm going to go into the edge mode now. Um, edge mode is really, uh, you can extrude an edge, um, and that will pull something out, and that's, that's good. Um, you can also chain for an edge which chamfering an edge will basically divide the two. Um, that I use significantly amounts. Um, if you've got a space, which I'll, let me get into the holes in a second here, and I'll, I'll work with that. Um, if you've got, those are probably the two tools that I use the most. You can also weld them um, and target weld an edge to something else. So you can you can also 
uh, target weld. Uh, it's not working quite the way I want it to. Um, you can weld edges to each other and such. Now I'm going to skip the border and I'm going to go to polygon. Okay. Um, now with polygon, the big ones that you're going to use is you're going to use extrude. Extrude basically moves it inward or outward. And then you can use outline, which outline will take that shape and scale it accordingly. You can use bevel, which will um, create a upward object or downward, same thing as extrude, and then the next click will basically move it inward. Um, you can use inset, which will create a outline or basically a indented version of the same thing. Um, and those are pretty much the tools that you're going to use for the polygon mode. Now, here's I'm going to hit delete on a couple different areas here. I'm just going to hit delete here. So now that we have holes in here, you can see the holes. Let's go back to border. Okay, so the first thing with border is I can select one of these holes and I can cap that hole. So I can basically add a uh, cap right back there. Um, if I go in edge mode, I can select one of the edges and I can go down and scroll to bridge. Now bridge will create a opposite segment there like so so now I've capped that hole and that hole is fine All right. and now what I can do is um, work with that and I can go into element and select the whole thing and use it now I'll show you say I'm putting another element in there um, let's get off the editable poly mode and let's um, uh, let's create a pyramid and this is all I'm going to do here is just create a pyramid and I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to move this pyramid up and over. Okay, now I can attach this object to the pyramid and it, now it creates one separate object. Now from there, this is where the element comes in. I can select this element and move and rotate around it, or I can select this element and move and rotate around it. And that's really what it's for is, is working on those individual, you can easy select, easy maneuver between those individuals. Now one of the things that you can do is I'm going to go to Polygon here, and I'm going to go in the bottom, and I'm going to delete this polygon right here. Now in order to take the two elements and convert them into one I have to collapse the edge of the vertices together and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that because you can't you can't collapse or, or, or connect two faces you have to connect two holes. So let's go here and I'm just going to grab this vertice, grab this vertice and I'm going to collapse. I've got a shortcut key for collapse, so I'm just going to really quickly collapse these two. And these are averaging out these portions here. Now I'm just, sorry, I'm just going to go to shaded view. Um, I like shaded view better than realistically when I'm working. Um, so I'm going to grab these two and collapse these two together. And again, you always want to manipulate your geometry. Now, if you find it hard to select something, hit Alt-X. And Alt-X will allow you to see through that object. So I can now see through that object. And then Alt-X to go back. And I'm just going to select these two and collapse. Now, if you notice, I still have a hole here. What that means is I either have to cap that hole or I have to create enough geometry in there. So I can cut, I can right click, say cut, and I'm going to cut from this corner to this corner. And then grab this one and this one and collapse those together. So now, if you notice, when I select my geometry, it selects both the geometries because it's one element. Okay? All right, and then, so there is this object here. Now, I'm going to stop this video and...
and we're going to render it out and put it up. And the next video is cleaning up the end gods. All right.